Hi friends and welcome to how PVC work. It's all about Microsoft Azure Training. Today we are discussing about the most uh, uh, important topic that is for the Active Directory Azure Active Directory. Uh, we uh, we are here we are going to discuss about the what are the role those are uh, available on the uh, Azure Active Directory and how we can you know, configure those role and how it is. Uh, sync with the on-premises active directory uh, on-premises means the active directory those we are using on the um, our premises from the long back my name is prashant chede i am microsoft solution expert and below are my contact details you can reach me on email twitter and linkedin so what exactly is the active directory azure active directory uh, it's nothing but the Microsoft multi-tenant uh, so Active Directory services uh, with the uh, cloud-based directory that can identify and manage uh, access management means you know most responsible for those things. If you see the uh, diagram, so it will show you pretty much um, overview about the Microsoft Azure Active Directory, uh, how it is you know flow. Like you know if you have the azure active directory and you have the on-premises active directory so you can you know do the synchronization in between to this uh, active directory if you have the SaaS application you know you know those application publish in the cloud like you know office 365 then the uh, uh, share uh, salesforce and the dropbox and uh, lots of you know part partner those are you know comes and uh, uh, collaborate with the Microsoft uh, Azure for the uh, providing their application as a service so you can you know implement for that uh, authentication using the uh, Microsoft Active Directory for those application if you have already implemented the uh, implemented the uh, ADFS in your on premises and you want to provide the access for all the users those are available from your on premises they can you know authenticate using your on premises uh, um, adfs servers by using the single sign on and the claim based authentication so you can do it you can also use the active directory for the multi factor authentication we will discuss about all those things in our uh, this session uh, let's you know move toward the edition available for the Active Directory Azure Active Directory. So we have the four uh, Active Directory um, edition. Those are available for the Active Directory. So whenever you log in with your subscription, that time you will be get the uh, free subscription for the Active Directory. Then uh, there are the basic um, uh, edition is also there. Then the Premium One and Premium Two means you know there are uh, little bit. Uh, uh, more services available into the all these services because you know uh, Azure and Azure Active Directory are you know day to day it uh, uh, implementing their uh, roadmap. So I'm just recording this session in uh, no uh, no sorry December. It's, you know recording this video in the December first week. So might be if you you know hear. Um, uh, and uh, you know watch this video in the next year or in uh, after the six months might be something you know goes uh, beyond to this video and you will get a uh, more option in that directory it is possibilities are there so basically if you say that what is the active directory azure active directory aad so it's a robust secure multi-tenant directory services that provide the identity and access management means using the uh, azure active directory you can you know uh, register your multi tenant uh, to get the authentications using the active directory it's providing the identity and access management services using uh, the active directory solution access for the applications those are the uh, SaaS application you can you know integrate those application uh, for the authentication you can use the azure active directory then the 
single sign on for the business partner and the SaaS application means you know B2C and B2B for those kind of uh, authentication you can use the single sign on uh, using the Azure Active Directory as well as the SaaS application the uh, as as we discuss about in the, about the SaaS application like the uh, if you know great example Office three sixty five then the Outlook Dropbox OneDrive and the SharePoint you can you know provide the single sign on access using the Active Directory so you can do the privilege uh, you know provision for the users and groups so that you can you know provide the access on the resource group and the resources those are available in to the your uh, resource group and the particular subscription you can you know provide the access for the particular user uh, by using the uh, Azure Active Directory and you can you know, also sync the Azure Active Directory with your own premises Active Directory so that whatever the user those are available in the on premises they can you know, authenticate to the uh, Azure Active Directory or Azure resources Azure platform uh, using their uh, on premises uh, username and password means you know the authentication based on the previous not on the OAuth and uh, open ID for the authentication protocol we will discuss on the upcoming videos so don't worry about that and make sure that azure active directory is not 100 percent replacement of the active directory that we are using in on premises make sure that so jump to the uh, demo when you log in uh, with your uh, sub in your subscription using your username and password those uh, azure portal when you log in and if you, you know click on the azure active directory uh, it will come with the uh, uh, the, uh, the blades that will describe the you know, services those we can you know uh, use uh, while we are you know using the azure active directory like we have users and group from here we can you know uh, manage the all the users and group and their password how we can you know reset the password we can you know uh, we'll see and the comp compliance branding all these things we will discuss about in brief so from this particular panel uh, we can you know manage the all users and group enterprise application like you know there are bunch of application partner application available into the SaaS gallery so you can you know manage those application from here you can register your devices so you can you know manage the registered devices from here you can you know register the applications like you know SaaS application you can you know manage the um, SaaS application like office 365 dropbox facebook twitter for your applic uh, you know your organization so whenever you can you know put down your uh, organizational username and password user can you know log in to the application without uh, you know putting down their uh, own password so they can you know work for those application using the uh, uh, organizational uh, credential then the application proxy we will discuss about this application proxy for the web um, web application so we'll discuss when the web application topic we can you know discuss so as you know that the um, uh, these uh, the ad uh, is depend on the licensing user licensing so we'll discuss about the licensing in the upcoming videos then we'll discuss about the tool for the azure ad connect that will you know connect with your uh, on premises active directory to sync the uh, uh, the users and group uh, as per your requirement then we can you know discuss about the customize the domain name means you know when we created the, your account on the uh, azure and you want to customize that uh, domain you know customized domain you know if you're having the abc.com on your uh, on premises the same name you want to you know use for the uh, azure active directory so you, how can you, you know implement those things so we'll discuss about those things then we'll discuss about the uh, company branding means you know whenever your user trying to access to the uh, azure portal they will feel that they are accessing the your organizational portal organization portal like uh, your organization name and logo that that will be appear on the login page so they will feel that you know it's a secure site so we can you know do it using the company branding 
and as i said that you know azure ad is a multi tenant directory if you want uh, having if you having the multiple directory so you can switch using the uh, the switch directory option so that you can you know switch in from one directory to another directory to manage the resources from the another directory so there, uh, this is you know pretty good uh, option that is available into the azure active directory so uh, summarize to this particular session we have discussed about what i actually the azure active directory and what is the difference between the on premises active directory and azure active directory and we discuss how to uh, you know what are the options available in active directory what are the editions available into the azure active directory we discuss all these things so in the upcoming video we will discuss about you know how we can you know create the azure active directory on your in your subscription how to branding those active directory how to create the users into the active directory we will discuss about all those things so this is it from for this particular session we will you know meet into the next session i hope you enjoy this video and we'll meet you soon thank you